Jin Kui. We are uh, reviewing the new Borat movie. Borat subsequent movie from delivery of prodigious bribe to American regime for big benefit once glorious nation of Kazakhstan. Borat great success. Or simply Borat subsequent movie film or Borat 2. Borat subsequent movie film. If you like video, please like, comment, subscribe. And subscribe and to Big Movie Channel. Big mm. Movie Channel. Movie channel big American it, uh... Movie Channel. Well, <laughs> <laughs> so we just watched the second installment of Borat last night. Yes. And uh, the film was a winner of Golden Globes. It has uh, appeared on Amazon Prime during the pandemic. And we are finally getting around to seeing it. Yeah, and it's... I mean, I have not seen the original Borat since it had come out. And, mm -hmm. and What I, are you I'm, reading there, a novel? No, I'm, I'm looking at... I just want to make sure of the year that Borat came out, which I think was 14 years ago, which is why they say that Borat has been in a labor camp mm. for 14 years. It wouldn't yeah, make sense. That... 14 years ago, I released a movie film which brought great shame to Kazakhstan. But I mean, it's definitely been that long because I was definitely in high school mm -hmm. or earlier. It was a, the first movie was a phenomenon. I mean, it was like so original, so like, you'd never seen anything like this kind of, I was thinking earlier like jackass like it's very like on the street real people and there's kind of a blurry line between how much of this is real and how much of this is scripted sure and it, and even the stuff that is real or you know or or he really does a great job of editing together to kind of create a different reality like he takes clips of what he does get from real life and re really kind of uses it to fit his narrative, yeah. which is a it's testament. It's seamless. It's seamless. Yeah. And it's great character work because they're just fully committed to the characters. And what I love about it, particularly this one, is you get an introduction to his daughter character. And it's nice to see him kind of have a cohort through these shenanigans. I actually think that it works better for both of their characters to have one another kind of involved and like the only people who are aware of these stunts because there's moments where where um, they'll just be going and conversing with someone and then you'll see the daughter just like she can't hold it together she's laughing so she'll like deliver her line and then she'll just like you know, like laugh, like she's breaking and yeah. it works. This is probably the only time where like you can get away with something breaking with the exception of like live on stage in, in certain scenarios. And it just adds to the whole feel of the movie. I have a baby inside me. Can you take it out? No, we cannot. Yeah, I thought, you know, this one was interesting in that the original one it seemed like there was more of that kind of raw footage of him on, as Borat on the street. And in this one, he had to, he had to do a couple things. Like he had to be in disguises to get away with people not recognizing him. And early in the movie, there's like people recognizing him as Borat. Like that was one of the in jokes of the movie is like, oh, now I can't go out on the street because yeah. people think I'm Borat. And so he's like covering his face with a bag and people are like, Borat, give me a picture or something, you know. So he then has to disguise himself. People make recognize my face. I would need disguise. It, it was, I don't know if it was like, he had planned to do this movie and then all of a sudden he had this gold nugget of, the coronavirus pandemic to run with. Not that I'm saying that the pandemic is anything that was a golden nugget, tragic. Yeah. Um, but in terms but, of being a storyteller in this kind of weird formula where he can just run with whatever the world throws at him. Oh yeah, yeah, that's, that's, like, yeah. that's exactly it. You nailed it. He really can run with whatever the world threw at him. Yeah. And the world just happened to completely 
fall off of its axis while he was doing this movie and gave him just gold to run with. I think one of the more interesting scenes to me was when he went <laughs> and kind of like quarantined with those two um, like total countrymen. Good old boys. Good old, yeah. good old countrymen. Right, killing some of the virus. No, you can't see the virus. No, it's still there. It was just, it was amazing to see them embrace him. I really need to to kind of investigate how in on Yeah, that's the, the thing. You don't they know were... how. That's part of what makes it interesting is you don't know how in on these jokes these, some of these participants are. Sure. You got somebody that's strapped to the top of your car. He's in that passenger seat, boss. So you're like... Are you aware to some degree what he's doing is, you know? But I like one of the things that works is that his comedy is like he gets certain because he's so like um, he's like has no guard up. He gets people to say outlandish things or do outlandish things mm -hmm. along with him. You know, he's so to this extreme of like what you would call misogyny or like, you know, and, and, and so he gets people who already have those traits to kind of roll with him. Sure. You know, and that's what's so funny about this character. But like he, you know, I think he's a one of a kind performer and I think there's not really anybody who does this kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, the, the most comparable thing I would think is just, I guess, an SNL type of world where you're just given a character and people run with it. Sometimes the characters come back, you know, in different in different um, episodes or just like kind of ongoing skits. Yeah. But this is an example of a character that is just run with and taken to the extreme. Yeah. And the character study and journey of this is everything that I love about acting. Cause it's, I think this is like, it's, it's like truly acting to have to yeah. stick with something for that long. Like you are playing, it, it's, it's got that kind of vibe of, of Jim Carrey and Man on the Moon. Sound check. Hey, hey, hey. It's working where yeah. he's like, I'm going to take this thing so far yeah. that I'm going to be Andy Kaufman even when the camera's not rolling. Yep. I'm going to... Be immersed in it. Yeah. yeah. And it's like so many things now. It's like, you know, we talk about this, like being a character performer and people who can pull off characters. Like lately, so much comedy is like very real and urban and people are like... You know, it's it's people in a bar and try, sex comedy and this and that yeah. and like people just live like and it's so like who cares like it's so boring like it's such a mundane like some people can pull off that real world comedy in a, in an authentic way but like to be able to be a performer that captures another culture and and you know character to such an nth degree this who's so different from the world that. Sasha Baron Cohen comes from is super cool. Yeah, it's know. it's just it, I think it's high comedy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Even you know, if there's like jokes in or mix that are like on the low brow. Yeah. Part. The, that's what makes the low brow jokes work. Like they always say, don't go for low brow or like the obvious jokes, like the sex jokes and. Um, you know, like the, the women jokes because nine out of 10 times they just don't land because they're so easy. It's like the easy way out and, and they work when they're so, when they're almost either by accident or they're a true commentary of what's going on in this world. And that's what, uh, 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 in real life. And that's what he does in this world is he's like, okay, like, this is what's going on in real life. I'm going to just use them so far as to expose the truth that yeah. they really are. Yeah. It's not just like, haha, I'm trying to make a penis joke. Right, right. 
<laughs> so check out the Borat subsequent movie film. Borat 2, Borat subsequent movie film delivery a prodigious bribe to American regime for big benefit once glorious nation of Kazakhstan. Pro prodigious. Jinkwe. Jinkwe.